And for more on this investigation, let's bring in former FBI Assistant Director Chris Swecker. Chris, great to have you on the show. I mean, the big headline there is okay. kind of what we want to get into you with because it is now been confirmed this is a sex trafficking case, but Sean Combs is not the target. Well, he sure looks like the target, though, Chris. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, apparently HSI is leaking out a lot of information, and you're right. We, it looks like there's a very significant sex trafficking, human trafficking uh, investigation underway, and it looks like it's coming out of the HSI uh, Division of International Organized Crime or so, something along those lines. So mm -hmm. it, it looks pretty significant. It got two major search warrants, a lot of, lot of process around those search warrants, a lot of kitted out. Uh, tactical people raiding those two locations. So it, it looks like a lot of drama around all this. And you know there's enough probable cause, because you don't get uh, search warrants without strong probable cause, that are, there is a, at least a human trafficking, sex trafficking ring at, at work here. And explain that to us, if you would, Chris, because I know we have talked about, Jonathan just talked about the fact that there have been a number of lawsuits brought against Sean Combs, women uh, alleging that he drugged them, and et cetera, and so on. My questioning, where does the trafficking come in there? What is it, what is it that we need to constitute human trafficking, sex trafficking, et cetera? Yeah, that, that's a great question, because it looks like some of these lawsuits are, are sort of personal lawsuits, sexual assaults, uh, sort of one-off. So to, to make human trafficking or make a human trafficking violation under federal law, you have to be taking women against their will and forcing them to, to commit sexual acts. Query whether there are underage women involved in this investigation. That would make it even more serious if underage uh, women or men are, are being forced to commit sexual acts, crossing state lines, crossing international boundaries. And also a question mark is, what does this tie into a, an organized crime group, a human trafficking organization? And I, you know, I can tell you, the federal agencies don't like to get involved in one-off type cases. The F, neither the FBI or HSI will engage in small one-off, one or two you know, prostitution rings and that sort of thing. If they're, if they're working this case, there are every indication that this is a serious, significant human trafficking ring here. Yep. Yeah, and I, I just want to kind of go one further with you on that, because here is former federal prosecutor Andrew Cherkasky, what he had to say about this. They allege uh, everything from rape to sex trafficking to being drugged, and then also things like sexual harassment and other workplace-type violence or, or abuses that are going on. I put this somewhere in between a Harvey Weinstein and an R. Kelly type of case. Uh, so I think that, that the criminal aspects are something that have to be deeply investigated. In other words, he's saying, Chris, this is a significant right. case, and now you've got the, uh, you know, you've got the Southern District of New York involved in this. A lot of heavy hitters uh, in that in that area. So it really looks like, you know, Sean Combs, Diddy, is in some trouble. It appears so. I mean, the, the question is, uh, since they're issuing some disclaimers about the, him being the target. Is he really the target? I mean, it sure seems so. I mean, logic would tell you they're going to his house. Going to both houses, they're focusing on his two sons. They have them in zip ties during the course of the search warrants. Uh, they they may have searched his airplane at Opalaka and detained some people at Opalaka Airport, which I worked at in Miami. That's an airport of some notoriety. It's a small airport, mm -hmm. used to be a smuggler's airport. So you know, there's a lot to work with here, and I, I guess it all rolls back around to it's a pretty significant investigation if you've got HSI going to all this trouble out of the Southern District of New York, which is a serious district. Yeah, former FBI Assistant Director Chris, Chris Wecker. Chris, great to have you on the show as always. Thank you. Thanks, Trace.